<sighs> so we're on the road and um jenna my girl's sister she had to say a little um emergency so we had to pull off on the rest stop we're about an hour i think we have about an hour left now we're at the uh i don't even know what rest stop this is but look let's do it virginia is for lovers oh man I'm ready to have a good little mini vacay. Even though we should have been left. We should have left yesterday for real, but it is what it is. Um, I'm having a good time. This is a good day. It's a good drive. It's no traffic. It's a good time. I love y'all. Hi, I'm Mike. My life is a little... Unconventional. It's a 27. Woo! Woo! Oh, you're good, you're good. We're on our way to what's the place called? National Harbor. National Harbor side. Something. For Dan's birthday, we're gonna eat, have fun. Have a good day. What's up? So you on the ship, you've been up there for a couple months. You're having fun, you made some friends, you've been going out, you've been drinking, you've been doing what you're doing, working, doing your overtime. But now it's your last couple months on the ship. You've been up there for two, your last couple, and you're starting to go out more, you're starting to drink a little more because you're comfortable with who you're with, but now you're starting to come in a little late to work. Now you, when you are at work, you're sluggish. You can't work as much because you're tired from the night before. You've been partying since two o'clock in the morning. You got back to the ship at three and you gotta be at work at 5.30. Now you're that guy. You're not doing your job right. The chief steward or the chief engineer or the supply officer, they're noticing it. They're like, wait, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you doing your job right? Why are you moving so slow? Don't be that guy. If you know you can't hang, don't hang out all night. If you know you can't drink like that, don't do it. Don't be that guy. I've been that guy. Everybody hates that guy. I, my friend's been that guy. Don't be that guy. If you can't hang, if you're going to be late to work, if you're going to be drunk while you're at work, if you're not going to be able to function after being out all night, don't go out all night. This is stay in your lane. You out here to make some money. Yeah, you want to make, you want to have fun. You want to speak to girls or guys, whatever who you are. You want to have fun. You want to do what you're doing out there. But if you can't hang, don't try. If you know you can't hang, don't try. It is what it is. Ain't no, yeah, somebody, people may say things. People are like, oh, he's just going to stay on the ship. He this, isn't that. Who care? You out here to make some money. Do your four months, four or five, however long you plan on doing it. Make your money. Because the whole point of you being out there, being away from your friends, family, if you're married, being away from your wife, your kids, and all that stuff is to make bread. If you're going out there and you can't make the money because you can't wake up for overtime, or if you can't stay back for overtime because you're trying to hit the streets again, you're doing this whole life wrong. That's what a lot of people, you're going to meet a lot of people that are like that. They go out there, like I said in my previous video, they go out there, spend all their money going out, tricking, which if people don't know that they're spending their money on prostitutes, you know what I'm saying? And then they're coming back to work late, so they're not doing any overtime. They do that all the whole time they're out there, and they're not making no money. Don't be that guy. If you cannot hang, and I'm serious, if you can't hang, don't do it. If you can't go out there and drink and be back at work at 5.30, don't do it. Go back to the ship at 11, go to sleep, get back to work. If you can't be one of those type of people that can be out all night, drink, do whatever, partying, and then be right back at work at 5.30 like it ain't nothing, don't be that guy. And not everybody can do it. It is what it is. And not even me, I can do it, but 
there's moments where it's like, okay, I know I can't do it because I just did it three nights in a row. So I cannot hang. If I go out again tonight, I'm going to be super late because I know I'm not going to be able to wake up. So don't be that guy because people are going to look at you funny. Everybody be like, everybody that hung out with you that was at work on time, they're going to look at you like, hey, we didn't tell you to come out. You came out. That's on you. And if you couldn't make it to work, that's definitely on you. So do not be that guy. People hate that guy. They make fun of that guy. Like I said, I have friends that have been that guy, and I have been that guy. People hate that guy. People end up not wanting to hang out with you because they think, oh, he's not going to be able to hang. He's going to get us all caught up. None of us are going to be able to make it to work because he's too drunk. And if you're the type of person that get drunk really, really fast and get drunk to where you're sloppy, don't hang out. It is what it is. You're out there to make money. You're out there to provide for whether your family, yourself, to reach your goals. Don't hang out. Go to the mall. Hang out with a couple people that really don't go out drinking or whatever. Go out to eat. Take your ass back to the ship by 10 o'clock. Go to sleep. Because nobody's going to give a shit that you was out drinking all night, that you was talking to some girl, and then you ended up being drunk so you can't make it. Nobody give a shit because you ain't doing your job, and now people don't like you. The department head not going to like you. The captain might hear about it. Don't be that guy or girl. Don't be that person. Then don't be the person that getting a phone or the captain has to get a phone call to come pick you up because you was out drunk, whether it be overseas or you're at, you're in jail overseas or something like that. Don't be that guy. They hate those guys. And you get that's a quick way to get kicked off the ship. So this is just I'm, it's a warning because whether it be SIU or MSC, if you're the type of person that cannot hang, you know this you. You're out here at home, and you know the per you're the person that everybody got to take care of. Get back to the whether it be get back at home. You got, you know you have to sleep in to drink it off, or to, um, for you to be functional again. Don't be out there drinking because you over there. It don't matter. You better bring your ass to work. So uh, this is a warning. I love y'all, but this is I'm being real honest with y'all. If you can't hang, don't hang. It is what it is. Yeah, the more you do it, the probably the better it is you can you be able to be at it. Because like I said, I wasn't always able to do it. But I stayed in my lane. If I knew I couldn't drink, or if I knew I was getting to the point where I know I'm not gonna wake up, I'd be like, hey, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that's the only thing to do to have fun out there. I've had many nights where I didn't even drink and I still had a ball. So you don't have to do that. But if you do happen to drink, because this is if you're sailing whether it be MSC, SIU, even in the Navy, the most people do, what we all do is drink. You know what I'm saying? That's the life. You go out, you have fun, you make your money, you go to the mall, get some fits, get some jewelry, go out drinking. That's what we do. You have fun, you party, and stuff like that. That's what we do. That's pretty much what everybody does. Not saying you have to do it, and if you don't want to, you don't have to. But that's kind of the environment that you're in. Everybody drinks for a real. But if you cannot hang and you know this about yourself, don't do it. Because nobody's going to care. Nobody is going to care. They're going to look at you like, oh, he can't hang. We don't want to hang out with him. And he's not a good worker anymore. And you could be the best worker when you're sober. But when you're a little hungover, you're trash. They're only going to remember that time that you were trash. And that's it. That's your stuff. They don't. There's, it's very unforgiving out there. You can be like me. I don't really give a shit because I didn't move up. But if you plan on really making this a career, you want to move up, you want to do right, don't be that guy. Don't fuck up too many times because you're going to end up stuck. And it's not fun being that guy at all. You may have had fun at the moment, but when you get back to the ship and people looking at you like, man, shaking their head at you. They gonna know that's that's gonna be the rest of your four months. That's it. The rest of the four months, people. That's all they're gonna think of you. It's really hard to redeem yourself. You can do your job the best you can do the whole rest of the time, but everybody, I'm gonna be honest. This is one of those worlds that people build an opinion on you, and that's it. You stuck. It don't matter what it is. It can just be that one day if you let the wrong person build that opinion on you, and that. That opinion runs rampant around the whole ship. That's who you are for the rest of the time. Don't let it be MSC because you're gonna run the whole MSC, and they're gonna be talking about you for the rest of the time. It sounds petty. It sounds like high school, 
But this is this is pretty much a high school for adults, for real, for real. Because this is what this job is like. So I warned you, don't be if you can't hang, don't hang. You're out here to make your money. So make your money, that's priority. Traveling, having fun, all that stuff, that's secondary. You out here to make your money. If you got a family, if you have kids, if you have a goal, if you have goals up, reach those goals. Everything else is secondary. Having fun is secondary. It is what it is. That's that's how it should be, and that's how it is. So if you can't hang, if you're one of those guys that can't drink like that, or if you can't party like that, and then be able to function the next day early in the morning, then don't do it. This is it. I'm your boy. It's Mike, aka Kata for Life. I love y'all. Deuces.